far cases have been completed. Well, with the strike happening, the UVM Medical Center is responding, and also it's taking note of the wage proposals. Over a three-year contract, RNs would receive an increase of more than $10,000. Advanced practice RNs would get a 6% raise to 25%. According to the hospital, outpatient nurses would be matched to the level of inpatient nurses, which would be an additional 10%. All nurses would get a benefits package that equals more than 30% of their base pay. In your local election headquarters, Democratic candidate for Vermont Governor Brenda Siegel released her plan to combat the opioid epidemic. The main pillars include reducing harm, treatment on demand, recovery and prevention, dual diagnosis support, and of course criminal justice reform. Siegel said both her nephew and brother died from a heroin overdose. This gave her a first-hand look at the crisis. I watched the system fail him time and time again when he was young in treatment for mental illness and was abused there, when he sought treatment at Maple Leaf and they closed without warning and without placing their patients where they could continue their treatment, with the lack of harm reduction and adequate treatment throughout the state, and finally within the criminal justice system. Siegel also said Vermont should not be patting itself on the back for a slowed increase of heroin-related deaths, saying it is time to lead with love and compassion and not stigma and shame. A developing story.